All the rain dumped by the storms this month has caused flooding throughout the Tennessee Valley. Our Kenesha Dees has more from EMA officials about what to expect in the coming days. Mother Nature just won't let up. I'm here in Jackson County on County Road 119. And as you can see behind me, there's water over the road. In fact, there's a sign that says so. While I was passing by, I spoke to what appears to be a resident in the area who told me and cautioned me to drive to the side of the road as much as possible. Right, we're having uh, flooding down in Woodville off of uh, County Road 30 and 119, Hollywood and County Road 105. Deputy EMA Director Joshua Whitcomb says these are usual spots that get flooded. However, he says there are challenges when multiple roads are flooded. So Jackson County is the third largest county in Alabama, and we have over 2,200 miles of roadway here. So at times when we have multiple roads that are flooded or deemed impassable, it can become a challenge to get barricades out to each and every site that we have. We reached out to the county engineer who says crews will place hazard signs such as this water over road signs if they know a roadway will be impassable. However, if there's damage to the roadway, state troopers are involved and will barricade that route. In the meantime, officials say they'll continue to monitor the area. There's also been a substantial amount of rain north of us, so we're keeping an eye on the rivers and coordinate with the National Weather Service and local public safety agencies to keep accurate information flowing as close to real time as we can. And here's a message for people while on the road. Pay attention to where you're going. You know, have more than one round of travel if you come across a roadway that's flooded or, or deemed impassable. Putting the valley first, Kenesha D's WZDX News.